third part of making a diamond saddle notch. It's time to lower the lock down and cut the notches. Before we begin to cut, we need to make some preparation. Now the lock is turned upside down and we need to score the notch cut lines. This process is important because it prevents splintering from the chainsaw, especially in the locations where the chain exits the wood. You can use chisel for this work, or multi-tool like here, which is much faster. Finally we have managed to get this far, and now it's time to cut the notch. The best way to cut this notch is to cut it in paces. When doing this we can make the actual cutting from both sides. By using six cuts we are cutting the notch but without crossing any of the cut lines. As the chainsaw cuts the wood there's clean and tidy edges on the lock. If you look the block we are removing, there's plenty of splinters, as you can see. Next we need to do some finishing work. Chainsaws bar and especially the lowest tip can be used for this work. The whole idea here is to make the inner parts of the notch somewhat concave. This space is needed for the insulation. The upper part of the notch has to be even more concave. Also, the edges here have to be quite steep and even weak. When the lock settles, these kind of weak edges doesn't prevent settling. Now we have finished cutting the notch and removed the wood between the cut lines. Next I'm going to finish the very edges of the notch by using hand tools. Carefully following the line. And we get clean and tidy results. Here we have a finished notch. The edges are quite sharp altogether, and next we can check that the notch has enough space for insulation and for settling. Here we can see the space is deep enough for settling. We are inspecting both sides here. Here we have about 2 cm of space reserved for the insulation material. Same here in the upper part of the notch. In this part of the notch there have to be extra space for the settling. By making this kind of notch we get a decent and airproof corners for the building. 